The glenoid labrum of the shoulder is a rubbery tissue that lines the socket like a white washer and deepens that socket, which improves the stability of the shoulder. The shoulder is a really unique joint in that it's inherently mobile at the expense of stability. It has a relatively large ball and quite a small socket. The labrum can be torn acutely with an instability episode of the shoulder, which is shown here. So here you can see the shoulder from the front, the ball in the socket or the humeral head in the glenoid. And in a moment you'll see that ball move down and forward, which is the most common direction for a dislocation. Now at that time, the front and lower part of the labrum has been stripped away from its bony socket and there's now a cleft there that creates some micro instability so the ball's wobbling around more in the socket. And we refer to this as a soft tissue bank art lesion. But it can also develop chronic tears that are caused by gradual tissue overload, especially in people who have hypermobile joints that are able to overstretch their tissues easily. The biceps tendon attaches to the top of the labrum. This tendon is an important secondary stabiliser that straps the ball down into the socket and prevents it from sliding forward. Now, during activities like throwing a ball or climbing, the tendon can forcefully pull at the labrum. If the labrum pulls away from the socket, it can be painful every time the biceps is then loaded. Chronic labral tears are a difficult and controversial area of sports medicine because many patients will have these tears but have no pain. A chronic labral tear in of itself may not cause any pain at all unless it's being repetitively loaded or it's unstable and wobbling about inside the joint. Common signs of labral tears include persistent deep-seated shoulder pain, painful clicking and clunking, and a sense of instability and distrust of the shoulder. Clinical tests are not very reliable, but an MRI with contrast called an arthrogram, often combined with a steroid injection for pain relief, can pick up about 90% of labral tears at the same time as providing a platform for pain relief to maximise rehabilitation exercise potential. Once the labrum's torn, the shoulder loses a degree of stability. It loses its snug seal and so micro movement can occur. And this can lead to secondary pain from imbalanced forces, bursitis, rotator cuff irritation as the ball wobbles around in the socket. In chronic labral tears, especially in patients with hypermobile shoulders, a period of rehabilitation of four to six months is warranted before considering surgical options. But the activity demands of the individual strongly affect the decisions around this controversial area. I hope you found this video useful. I create these educational videos to help empower patients by allowing them to understand their problem, treatment options, and the expected recovery. Please remember this lecture is for educational purposes only, does not constitute the giving of medical advice, and no patient-doctor relationship is formed.